Hey Fahalakum, Kya Hal Hai, Namaskar, Kumusta po kayong lahat, how are you guys doing? My name is Zid and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a faster and more efficient way for you to be able to work here in Canada. We are going to assess your qualifications to see if you guys are eligible, the documents required, and of course, the step-by-step -step process. Now, in general, working in Canada requires two important things. Number one, you as an employee must have a valid work permit. Let me show you what a valid work permit looks like. All right, so this is how a valid work permit looks like and this is exactly what you're gonna get once you receive your work permit approval. Now on the upper left hand and right hand corners, you will see Canada being printed. This is where you're gonna see your work permit number and then down here is your personal information such as your family name, your given name, date of birth, and you will see that this person is from Nigeria. And then down below here, you will see the occupation and right next to it is open, which means that this is an open work permit. Number two, the employer hiring you must obtain a positive LMIA. If you guys are not familiar with LMIA, it stands for Labor Market Impact Assessment. Unfortunately, the process of obtaining a positive LMIA can take a huge amount of time and is quite exhaustive to be honest. That's why in this video, I am going to be introducing a program that will get rid of the second requirement and just focus on getting a valid work permit and making it faster and more efficient way for you to be able to work here in Canada. Again, if you guys haven't done so, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash that bell button, smash that share button, and let's all get started. All right, so this program is called the International Mobility Program, also called the Open Work Permit. And as I mentioned to you a while ago, guys, the best thing about this program is that it does not require a positive LMIA. Now, before we get into the step-by-step -step process on how to obtain an Open Work Permit through the International Mobility Program, let me tell you the three types of open work permit which is more important for you if you're someone who's been wanting to work in Canada. Alright, so the first type of work permit is the unrestricted work permit which allows you to change employers, occupation, and the location of work. So let's say for example that you guys received a valid unrestricted work permit that allows you to work in the community of Sault Ste. Marie which is located in the upper part of Ontario, Canada. However, you wanted to move and work in downtown Toronto, then that is totally fine with this type of work permit. Now, the second type of open work permit is called the restricted work permit, which allows you to change employer, but do not allow you to change your occupation. All right, so let's say, for example, that you guys received a valid restricted work permit in the community of Sault Ste. Marie as a computer programmer. However, you guys decided that you wanted to move to Toronto and work in downtown Toronto instead, then that is totally fine under this type of work permit. However, you guys must remain working as a computer programmer in downtown Toronto. Now the third type of open work permit is the same as the second type which is restricted work permit. However, the difference is that with this work permit, it allows you to change employer but does not allow you to change the location of work. Now going back to our same example, with this type of work permit, you are not allowed to move from Susan Marie all the way to Toronto. However, you guys can change employer within Sault Ste. Marie. Now, just one more thing before we get into the step-by-step -step process, 
we need to know exactly what are the requirements in order for you to get a Canadian Open Work Permit. Now the biggest question is, are you eligible to apply for an Open Work Permit? Well, the answer is yes, if you are one of the following seven categories of applicants. The first one is if you are an international student who graduated from a Canadian education institution and is eligible for a PGWP, which stands for Postgraduate Work Permit. Let's move on to number two, so you guys can apply for an open work permit if your spouse or a common law partner is an international student or skilled worker in Canada. So let's say for example that your spouse has a study permit in Canada, then definitely you can apply for an open work permit. Now the third type of applicants who can apply for an open work permit in Canada are refugees, a protected person, a refugee claimant or a family member. Now moving on to number four, you guys can apply for an open work permit if you are a temporary resident permit holder in Canada. Number five, if you're someone who has applied for permanent residence in Canada, then definitely you guys can apply for an open work permit. Number six is a family member of a person who was applied for permanent residence in Canada. Finally, you guys can apply for an open work permit if you are a young worker in special programs. Finally, the thing that you've been waiting for, let's go ahead with the step-by-step -step process. All right, so let me tell you guys the step-by-step -step process on applying for an open work permit. And the very first step is to get a valid Canadian job offer. Now, if you guys go to the videos section of my channel, ZT Canada or ZT Canada, you will see that I have created a lot of videos that will help you find or get a Canadian job offer. Um, right here, these are Canada's most wanted jobs right now. Um, over here, this will tell you how to fix your mistakes uh, on your resume. And we've got a lot of um, job openings right here and also here. And then this one here, I have created a video on how I got a Canadian job offer in just 23 days with proof. And of course, down here, I have created a video to help you how to get a Canadian job offer with five proven ways. So guys, please go ahead and check these videos which are really, really useful for you. Now, after you get a job offer, the second step is to apply for the visa and work permit. Okay, so this is the official Canada.ca link where you can find the step-by-step -step procedure on how to apply for an open work permit. Now, once you guys are on this page, simply scroll all the way down until you find this drop-down right here. So you can simply select either or any of the selections here. Either you're applying from outside of Canada, you're applying inside of Canada. I believe this option, which is at a port of entry, is not available as of today, uh, probably because of COVID or um, the pandemic. But however, it's going to be um, available again in the next few months or weeks as soon as this pandemic is over. But um, as of now, you can simply choose either outside of Canada or inside of Canada. Now, the third step is to wait for processing. So guys, the processing time can take anywhere from 3 to 27 weeks, depending on your country of citizenship. So after this time passes, you will get a decision from the Canadian consulate. Now, number four is the most exciting step of all which everyone wants, and that is traveling to Canada. Now, guys, listen to this as this is very important information. If your open work permit is approved by the consulate, you can make travel and accommodation arrangements in Canada. 
When you land in Canada, the port of entry officers will stop you for checking. They will check your documents and ask questions about your purpose of visit and how long you will be in Canada. Give them all your documents and answer all the questions since they have the authority to not let you into the country if they suspect you are not being truthful. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to write down in the comment section down below. If you guys haven't watched my previous videos about Express Entry, you can try going through these videos right here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Good luck!